And I think that creativity is good for your mental health. So to get back to your, your initial question, you, the first function of the song is in some way to purge the artist. Then you've got two things. You can either, it could be an invocation or an exorcism. Mm -hmm. An invocation is when you're trying to summon something up, like, come here, baby, you know, I want to make you mine, or I wish I had a big plate of cheese, yeah. or oh, maybe it'll rain tonight, or let's have some wurst, you know, <laughs> yeah. whatever it is. And the other one is exorcism, which is, get out of my life, woman, yeah. stop rain clouds. Yeah. I can't stop George that. Bush okay. Jr., leave the White House right now, <laughs> thank you, you know. <laughs> Go back to Florida and put your head in the shark's tank. Yes. God knows it's big enough, you know. And that's that's exorcism. Let's get rid of it. And that's yeah. to, that's what songs are about. Usually, it's either either wishing, praying for something, or trying to get rid of something. Yeah. And I find that I find that usually my songs are in that category. Yeah. You know? Bob Dylan was the probably the best songwriter, the strongest performer that rock has ever produced. But Dylan always complains. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, you know, it's a beautiful fish, but it's gonna die. You know, she's a beautiful girl, but she broke my heart. Yes. It's a lovely day, but it's gonna rain. <laughs> yes. You know, it's, it, it, he, he seems to be permanently exorcising. He's yeah. gonna get rid of it, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to, as I get older, uh, celebrate things a bit more, you know, while I'm still here. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to be a ghost tapping on the window saying, I would really have liked a Mars I, I bar. You know, to yes, do that yeah, that. yeah, yes. you know. I forgot to say sorry about that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think, anyway, that's, sorry, that's my spiel. Yeah. 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 And uh, how, how do you write songs? Because uh, do you start off with sort of a strong image, a phrase, a word, and then build everything around it? Or how very often, it? very often. That, that's a title. How it yeah, off. I want to destroy you. Uh, or <laughs> a song like Kingdom of Love. I mean, those are all soft boys era songs, yeah. or insanely jealous. Yeah. I'd have the title, which just sort of write itself in letters of gold on my notebook, and I'd think, aha. Um, even today, you know, I've got songs I haven't written. I'm working on songs like The Price of Money, and uh, I forget what the titles are, but I've, I've got some of them in a notebook back home, and, I, and I, 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 I know if I've got the title, it won't be that hard to uh, get the song. Okay. Otherwise, it's like a baby that's been born for a week and hasn't been given a name. It's very worrying. Yes. We'll have to call it Manfred. But what if it's a girl? Oh. It's Manfreda. <laughs> Manfreitag. Manfreitag. Mandienstag. Oh uh, yeah, Mandienstag. That sounds like a sort of age. Dienstag Lina. Lina? Lina? What's Lina? Lina is just a word when you say uh, Robin. That's a boy's name, and Robelina is sort of oh, a stupid, oh, yeah. oh, a girl's oh, 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 right, right, like Evelina. Yeah. Dean's like Lena. <laughs> well, this is, would be wow. a good name for a, it would a be, poor girl. It would be a lovely name for a poor girl, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I would like to talk about one, um, one of your recent songs called oh, yeah. I Something You. Oh, yeah. Where, yeah. especially uh, the middle part mm -hmm. is wonderful, I think, where oh, the yeah. middle part deals with middle parts. Can you, can you somehow remember how oh. that occurred to you? What, that bit about in this kind of song, middle bits are so yeah. predictable? Yeah, but they're not on something. Oh, different. well, probably. I got to... It was in C, so... Then I'm not... It probably either goes to G or F, because those are the two most obvious chords. Yeah. Um, I think it's G, but I'm not sure. So I probably thought, oh, God, this really is predictable and therefore I sang it yeah um, and which kind of got me out of it yeah but you that's you can tell if people are listening because they laugh at that bit yeah definitely and it's, it's a sort of test you know yeah. and it, it's funny because it works over and over again every oh, thank time you, you listen no it's really <laughs> ah, true and, and you pretty, see it yeah. laugh your head off every time oh, really, because yeah. you start shouting at that point you know oh, yes. you go, no I do it's really I loud do. <laughs> and, and, and holler, yeah. Are, are there any songs you um, personally dislike today? Sort of? of mine, or yes, you mean of like? Yes, um, Probably. Uh, I think some of them might be a bit. Some of them might be a bit off, um, but it's probably best just to forget about them. Otherwise, yeah, you know, I don't want. I think. 
let's just, I'll just, you know, I'll just rewrite history and let them disappear gradually. People yeah. will just notice suddenly I haven't played it for 20 years. Yeah. I think a lot of them didn't quite work for a variety of reasons. Yeah. The Underwater Moonlight was the first time I began to write halfway decent songs. I sort of became a... I, I, it was a good combination of... It, it was the last lineup of the Soft Boys and it was a very... Probably the brightest in terms of sound and sort of pizzazz lineup of the Soft Boys. Yeah. You know, it had a, a bright, thick guitar sound and a very sort of skippy rhythm section. Mm -hmm. And I wrote a bunch of quite dark songs, but they made it a lot more palatable, I think. Yeah. And then after that, I wrote another sort of six rather gloomy albums. And then I did a couple of very morose ones. And then I did one more aggressive one. And then I think I started to mellow out. Yeah. <laughs> the last two records are... The trouble is they're probably quite nice. And really, who wants music that's quite nice, you know? Oh, yeah. I hope they've got some depth to them, but... Yeah. You know, but uh, technically, it, it, it should be difficult? illegal to do, make... Do you realise that you often think something of a song and nobody else gets it? Do, do fans, for instance, for instance, sort of get songs completely wrong, or is it impossible oh. to get a song of yours wrong? They only they would only get it wrong if they had a very specific interpretation that that didn't agree with mine. But you know, I don't know. They just songs just sort of happen. I I don't know whether they they get them wrong or right. You mean someone would, would say, Come I think you're you talking say, about yeah. someone who they're standing in a bus stop and someone slaps them around the face with a <laughs> exactly. haddock. Yeah. And I and say, then he no, loses no. his toenail oh, and yes, stuff right. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, you stupid bastard. It's completely right. the other, other right. thing. Right, right. He's actually, his toenail has stayed with him all yes. the time and he goes around and he beats up a haddock. He has yeah. a love story yeah. with his toenail. That's what it's about. Oh, yeah. No, I, I get a bit of that, but the thing is that you're. I think the idea with, with my songs is that you, they're a bit like, um, they're quite pictorial. Mm. If you like, they're, they're like videos without having to have a video. So, whereas a, if you make a rock video, you constantly see the same image every time. Yeah. With my stuff, you can interpret it as you want. Yeah. There are definitely pictures in there. Yeah. But my vision isn't going to be the same as yours. Yeah. And I'm... I don't really want to impose things, I want to suggest them. Yeah. Because I think it's more fun for people to to get to get their own pictures from it. They they may well see things that I haven't. Yeah. Um, but that's a thing that you like because it's not as if you, people who read too much maybe into art no, come I, up and you say, Oh God, haven't you got any friends? <laughs> no, I think it's it's good. It's like people who look at clouds and say that cloud looks like a camel, yeah. and someone else says, no, it looks like a screen print of Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. They're both wrong. It's actually a cloud. <laughs> but it's great because the clouds suggest things, and, yeah. and that's what I want my stuff to do is uh, just you know let set people's minds wandering. As long as it doesn't inspire them to go and um, you know beat well, yeah, or worse, you know. <laughs> They go home and, and beat up their loved ones yeah. or, or something, you know. I mean, I think there are things that my stuff wouldn't work for. Mm. I wouldn't listen to my record while you, any of my or soft boys records while you're eating. Yeah. I don't think they'd be very good for people to have sex to. Um, That's a good thing. You know what somebody just told me while what? I was having my makeup on in the channel just now? Mm -hmm. This girl, makeup artist, said, oh, that's really good because my, they repeat my show in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, I was having sex with this guy in a hotel and we watched your show from beginning to end. And I sort of wow. said, oh, my God, that is disgusting. Because they, sort of, you know, they only met. And that, I just remembered that because you said having sex to soft boys records. Well, I just I think it would it was be... Really, yeah, I just think it would be bad for concentration. Yeah. And it's sort of, um, I don't record the show for people having no, sex, no, I record no. it for people sort of watching going, oh, yes. Well, in that, that way it's the same thing. Likewise, it's, you know, whether you have stuff, I don't think it's good for that. Well, I mean, you could maybe use the soft boy stuff for party music, but you wouldn't put mine on. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, even, because you're meant to be focusing on it. I think it's always slightly insulting if you produce stuff and, and it doesn't get your full attention. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and eating, because it's, it's synesthesia, that's what's the problem. 
you know, if you're eating and you're watching something, you're going to confuse them in some way. Yeah. Uh, so if you're having sex and watching something, you're really stimulating two completely Ooh. different areas. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure it works. I think, yeah. you know, driving and listening to music is all right. I think you can... You yeah, can, because you can that blend works those perfectly together. Because it's very um, automatic yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. That's why I think. Yeah. Because you can sing along with the most difficult yeah. songs and stuff, and without uh, being in danger driving. Right, but I mean, I think even I would. I don't watch TV and eat or anything. I like to focus because otherwise, in a way, you're eating what you're watching. Yeah. You know, so your friends could be eating crisps and watching you talk to me and they'd get it's, it confused. It's so funny because... They'd feel like they were biting our heads off. My, my boyfriend yeah. refuses to eat and watch a good video film. Well, that's exactly. That's it. Yeah. And I yeah. never understand why. That's it. Oh, you're no, so intelligent, aren't you? <laughs>